All right, we are streaming live from Practical Board Repair School. It's the end of the day. This is the July session one. And before we drive all these animals back to the micro hotel, uh, we decided to do a stream since we are not working tonight. And Mark is gonna walk us through, hopefully, another <laughs> Samsung data recovery. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. Well, you can't possibly get two in a row. All no right. way. So what's up with this device? Um, uh, well, we're gonna find out. It's just, it came in, it was dead, no power. Um, so I'm going to uh, connect and DC let's, let's power supply sure, and see. I wanna see somebody show up so that we know this stream is live. Okay. Okay, it, says, it looks like it says live now over here. So I think, I think, yeah, 29 watching now. All right, let's just. All right, so we're good. Yeah, oh, here we go. David, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> wow, how many people? There's a party, and you didn't invite your international friends. Come on over. Well, I told you. I told you I'd pick you up at the airport at 8.30 on Monday morning. You weren't there. All right, so this is the battery connector, and I'm going to solder wire onto the positive. So what's the deal with this? What's the note say? Water? What's going on? Um, no water damage, just phone stopped working suddenly. Sudden death. Samsung S6 Edge. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this is this is the kind that you can just take the chip off and read it. It is not that kind. Oh, so you got to make it work. Pressure is on. Yeah, I have to fix it. Got to fix it. Now I thought there was a UFS reader. So what's the deal with that? Um. So as far as I know, there is there is a uh, Deddy Prog makes a uh, S6 chip reader but the reader is something like three thousand dollars and um you have to it, it requires the chip to have balls oh and yeah. the chips are very very sensitive to heat pussies. yes gotcha. so you have to reball it with a, a very low melt solder and um so you think it's easier to make the phone work again i think it is all right Here's former student Joe Ham. New students, what's up, everybody? Hi, Joe. All right, so I've got my wire soldered to the positive, and I'm going to connect DC power supply, and we'll see how much current it consumes. All right, so we can watch up here at the on stream DC power supply, janky version. I wonder if there's a DC power supply that's like by USB that you could put on a thing. So we've got. 30 milliamps um, before I prompt to boot. So that. 30 milliamps before I prompt to boot. Pause. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what do you think about a phone? I mean, we didn't work on any Samsung, it's a little new, but I'm still going to throw you under the bus. What do you think that means? If you have current consumption before prompt to boot, what do you think? Sure. Short sure, because why? I gotta vote for short somewhere on the main line because why? Because what do you guys think? Battle it out. Is he right? It's shot up. Yeah, it's shot up. It's, 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 it's current going straight to the ground, so it's showing a lot of activity. Okay, current is going straight to the ground, and the absence of prompt to boot is inappropriate, and so therefore a short circuit somewhere on something that is directly connected to the battery. Sounds reasonable. I'm gonna go with you guys are probably right. All right, so... What do you think? <clears throat> um, I don't know. Uh, we're going to find out. Oh, okay. Oh. So let's, let's see what is on connected to that battery. So we've got a chip here. Um, we've got a few different caps, a diode. So... It's uh, not the oh, diode. Am I, I'm not sharing that screen yet. Uh, yeah. There we go. Great. <clears throat> So there's our battery connector, the positive side. We've got it connected. It's, it talks to this chip um, and then to some caps and a diode. Um, so I will go back and I'll do a diode mode reading on the battery connector and see if that's now, where my Aaron short is. Now Aaron E says, wouldn't the current draw typically be larger on a VCC main short to ground? Yes. Or is it not always? Well, in an iPhone, that, that is the way it works. Let's ask these guys. If you saw an iPhone 
that had a short on VCC main. What would you expect the DC power reading to be before prompt to boot for VCC main short? Two volts. Two amps. Yeah, so like up to the whatever the current limit is, right? Yes. Yeah, and we saw that, right? Yeah, so you're right. So this is a little bit different than an iPhone. You would expect it to be a lot more. So I think Aaron is right. So that's one of the things that, that Mark has uh, found with the Samsungs is that they don't always act like right. iPhones. Right, so in diode mode on my battery connector, I'm getting 0.528, which that seems normal. Seems reasonable, yeah. And, and I would expect if the battery line were the source of the short that there would be a much higher current consumption. Okay. So let's go back to ZXW and see so we're eliminating like basically VCC battery. Yeah, so in, in this particular model, it's called uh, V underscore battery. Okay. <clears throat> so then um, this chip I know is related to charging. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna click around on some things around it and see if I can find the equivalent of Something VCC that main. Something lights up everywhere. Okay. And there, I found it. So that is called VBAT. Um, so now I'm going to check so and see so if there's VBAT a short on that. seems like it's the main power rail equipment. Yeah, I mean, it's going all right. over the place. So. And then, what, guys, what do you think that little square chip would be? What kind of a thing would that be? Something that's got a whole bunch of VCC main inputs. And what do you think it does? What kind of, just take a guess. I think so. You think so, Mark? Are we on the right track? That um, red, that chip <clears throat> down there with all the red, is that going to be a power oh, yeah. management chip? Yeah, that one that has a bunch of red. Yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be power management. So, is that on, on the ground? VBAT, I've got red probe on ground, black on the line, and I've got 0 0.064 in diode mode. 0 0.064. Which is enough to make the multimeter beep like it's a full short. Yes. Um, so yeah, that seems low. So this is the equivalent of VCC main seems, certainly seems low compared to an iPhone. Mm-hmm. All right. So now I will move my wire and rather than going in at battery, I'm gonna go straight into that line. You mean inject current? Inject current directly into the VBAT line. That so you're injecting current short. into VBAT, which is essentially VCC main because you believe it as a short from your diode mode reading and your strategy is to look for heat. Did you already right. look at the board to see if anything looked, uh, according to Aaron E, fugly? Um, I have, nothing looks bad. I've looked all over this board. So um, it's sudden death, not water damage, and you don't see anything. Now we move it up so we can see what you're doing. So I'm soldering right in here because I got a bunch of stuff I can connect to and get this securely on there. And now... Does anybody speak Shrek? Because I can't understand this dude at all. <laughs> Joe M says it's $900 plus socket prices for the UFS reader. Oh, 900 plus? That, that's not yeah. that what, bad. What is the price where it would say, yeah, I'll get the reader and reball the chip rather than rather than try to make the board work? 20 bucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 900 bucks is getting close to it. Yeah? Um, maybe. I'd want someone else to do it first and tell me what their success rate is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set your current down from five amps. Why is it at five amps? It's at five amps because we, why did we put it at five amps? I forgot. Oh yeah, we were trying to make the seven plus CPU short show itself. And it okay. Was, it wouldn't. Would, would. All right, so I'm gonna turn that up to like two, two and three quarters. All right, fair enough. So Aaron says, so that one BGA chip is keeping the draw low from the battery connected, but if you go to VBAT, it bypasses that. Correct. Correct. Gold star for Aaron E. Oh man, we gotta we gotta buy some good alligator clamps and replace these on everything. I hate them so yeah, much. Yeah, I do too. Um, all right, so now I'm feeling around for heat, 
and his ball sack, but you can't see that. With my finger. But you guys can all confirm. Right? Um, and it, it feels like it's Mark getting... Mark hasn't worn pants all day. It's just <clears throat> part of the job. It's wearing his uniform. Feels like it's getting hot in this corner of PMIC here. Do you want to use your face and see if you can yes, tell exactly yes, what I it do. is? Because I'm not a pussy. All right. Well, let's right. let that cool down a little bit. I ain't scared. Well, it's easier to tell if you, there's only one pinpoint of heat. Oh, I'm okay. giving you oh, I help see. here. I see. <laughs> All right. So you right, want me you to identify uh, this? Connect so you ground. Want me to stick and this on ground. All right. Does anybody else want to do this? No. <laughs> I mean, it, it may be a ball sack work. All right, so you want me to find this short with my face. Yeah, and it's somewhere around what we think is PMIC. Fine. All right. Is this going to be ground? Does that show current? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's ground, no. It's I have a corner of the oh, frame you got in there. there. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm ready to go. All right, ready? Oh, yeah, that's seriously hot. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> All right, now I'm really going to localize it now. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional using the best tool for the fucking job. <coughs> All right, hold on. I'm getting close. All right. All right, I'm gonna find out exactly which one it is. All right, it is right there. You think it's that big cap? Yes. All it's right. That big cap. <clears throat> I want somebody else to try it. Um, Who is? Which one of you guys is the least yeah. pussy? Well, Get up here, <laughs> guy who can't eat anything except for uh, you know honey fried chicken. I can't eat. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here's the challenge. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Now, somewhere in here is the short. You're going to find it with heat. So it's cooled down now. So you're going to connect this to the little corner to ground. All right. So it'll start the current, and then you got to find out. And you can tell. You're going to be surprised with your face. Like, exactly, like, is it, you know, it's somewhere around there. Okay. All right, have at it. All right, here we go. Oh, it's going to be hot, right? The customer specified that there was never any urine on this phone. <laughs> okay. That's right. The customer but, never lies. I didn't yeah. specify whether or not there's been any since it arrived. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. All right. What, are you using your eyes to tell? It's, oh. it's getting hot right now. Use your face. You got to use your face. <laughs> Don't make me get your mom oh. up here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Don't me... make me get your mom up hold here. Show you I thought I was supposed to look at it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you, you said, <laughs> no, cause she said you could tell if you look at it. I was like, oh, okay. You can tell if you look at it as long as you use the eyes that are in each other. You have to look at it like a blind man does. Yes, okay. exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. It's going like to be in Braille. Yes. Your left cheek. Your left cheek. She means the one on your face. <laughs> Just to be clear, Just don't wanna, I don't want to have any more confusion. Oh, okay. I think it's uh, around the, this area right here. Wrong. Damn. Use your face. Use your, your face. Use your face. Use your face. Use your face. Come on, man. You're a pro. You have been to practical board repair school where you learn the best strategies. For Should short detection. Yeah. Yes! Use your face. Seriously? Yes. All right. Yes. You guys, all right. Kids these days. All right. There you go. There you go. No, it hurts. <laughs> it's really hot. I don't yeah. know. Where? So where at? Where? where at? Just like make it like a brand, <laughs> like a tattoo, and then we'll just read it. We'll match it up. We'll match up the scars. Well, when I was touching it, it was hot over here. <laughs> well, that was because you, you had the power connected for a while and it just the heat spread so it was really hot over there but it was even hotter over here where right, oh yeah that's what I meant hot. to say who else okay. is a pro oh yeah, that's yeah what I, I meant, meant to, to say. say come on get up here don't put it to your face <laughs> yes. show him how it's done no. find that short I would like to use free spray to find out if you're right or not when we're done here okay fine all right I just want to know if Floyd concurs I think Floyd is a professional 
and I think that he is. And you don't you don't have to connect that. You can just touch it while you're holding, holding it up to your face. So yeah. Why do you touch it to your face? Yes, that's Where right. Uh, Aaron E audience. says, "Face or get the fuck out." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Feel anything? <laughs> you have to hold it there for a while so that you make a blister <laughs> in the shape of the <laughs> surrounding caps. All right. So you you think it's yeah. that chip? Is that? Yeah. That's your you answer. All right. All right. I think it's the cat. So let's get this. Corner. Let's yeah. get this under the microscope, <laughs> and <laughs> we'll see. So, uh, you're voting for the chip. Floyd said it's this chip, which we suspect is PMIC, and which I'll go ahead and say yes, it is. I know it is. Um, and Jessa thinks it was this cap. Yes, I do. So, we are going to put some free spray on the board and All find right. out. All right, fine. Freeze it up. Train for the pain by sticking lit cigarettes on your big toe. Yeah, I'll have to add that to the what to expect before you come to the course little handout. Make sure All right. that you uh, are... All right, watch everybody. All right, Let's we're see watching. What... Okay, we got this. We're paying attention. Ooh. Yes, it's the cat. No, Boom. That's, Face for the win. That's a coil. That's a coil. The cap that's above it. Okay, it's let's see. Like, just take that cap right off right now. This thing's gonna be soft. <laughs> let's let's use the multimeter. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, red probe on ground, black probe on the cap. What do we have? Point one five zero. Oh, that's weird. I would, hmm. Something's fucked up with the what multimeter. What do we have on the coil? Point one three something. Mm. And it's going down as the board warms up, so it probably is going to beep short soon. Mm. Uh, how about the little cap next to it? That guy. That one? Yeah. You think it's that guy? Oh, we're almost we're almost to beeping range. Seven, six. six. Beep in five, four, three. Two, one, and beep. There we go. All right, so what are those guys? What, yeah, who are, are they? Are they part are of our guys? line that we think is shorted? Yes, they yes, are. Yes, they are. Show the screen. Share the screen. Oh, yeah, share the screen. Screen, there you go. All so, right, so these guys go. are on that line, but yeah. this coil oh. is what actually was getting hot, and I, I know that it's the coil because it's the thing that melted first. The cap is still I quote from shiny. Mark Schaefer. I know that it's the coil. I know that it's the Period coil that's getting hot. So where does that coil go? It goes to a cap here and it goes to the uh, CPU, CPU. And, and to PMIC and then the other side of it just goes to PMIC. So really if I don't understand why that that coil would be getting hot, but I think that that implies problem with PMIC before it implies problem with one of these caps. Uh, take it off and see if you can isolate the short on <clears throat> one side or the other of that thing. Take the coil off? Yeah, you do that. Sure, I'll do that. All right. Twitch people are asking, is the chat working? Yes, it is. All six people that are that are in in Twitch chat. All right. What happened to this phone? Says Dude Fox Live. This phone had nightstand damage, I think. Wait a minute. David votes for PMIC. All right. So. Battle of the knitting group all stars. Can you 551 method the Samsung cap? Can you? I'm gonna go with probably not the big ones. Um, as, as a general rule, I don't do that to big ones. I only do that to like uh, 0204 or or smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or I'm sorry, 0201 and 01005. 
Guys, I'm not familiar with the spray method. Can someone explain, please, bro? Um, nope, unnecessary. All you need to do is just use your face and you'll... <laughs> don't need to invest in things like grease. Jonathan Dick says, if the PMIC was faulty, switching frequency could be wrong in passing too much current through the coil. Or else, right. whatever the coil is feeding is dropping. So you took off the coil. I took off the coil with my magnetic tweezers that drive me crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's see where the hell is this short? What side is it on? What side is it on? Let's find out. So, oh. Yeah, move it up. All right. Sure, Mark, I'll turn off your header. Thanks. Red probe on ground. Ooh. So that side is shorted. Mm. So screen share. Oh, screen share. So that goes to PMIC, a cap over here, and CPU. Obviously you should rehab the CPU. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, I should lift Bro. CPU and see if that relieves the short, right? That's what I do. <laughs> so I'm going to go with, I don't think it's that cap because I think that cap would get hot if that was the source of the short. Right. I still think it's PMIC pulling through the coil. All somehow. right, fair enough. All right. Off so with the PMIC. Put that coil Here's a back follow up. first. Here's a follow-up question. Uh-huh. Do you have a replacement PMIC? Uh, let's hope that I do. All right, get in there, Coil. Stop doing this. Don't do this to me. Oh my Stop. God, it drives yeah, me nuts. Yeah, you know they're magnetic. Nivaldo Jesus, my favorite dude, who swears that we never gave him an estimate, says it's the Coil always is. Just to be clear, how many of you guys here at the course think that the reason why this phone has a short is because of that coil? Nope, nope. I got a whole bunch of nopes. Now why is that? Why are you guys saying, well, it's definitely not the coil? Why? Huh? Can't short the ground. It's a wire. Yes, it's a wire. It doesn't have a path to ground. Oh, look at that clean lift. Oh. That lift is clean. <laughs> well, I wasn't using my clean lift tweezers. Oh, I see. <laughs> These don't have the hooks. As Jason's underpants when he was pulled over by the problem. All right, so now I've got to clear the shorts that I've created. Yeah, yeah, you do. Alrighty. Uh, Yasin says, I think you need to inject voltage to the coil. Mm. I think not. No, I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with, is it short? Yasin says, both sides will be shorted. Well, that's, if both sides were shorted, then you have two shorts. Because a coil is just uh, a wire. Making a mess of this, Jessa. Well, don't do that. <laughs> are you on, is your, are you on, is that thing hot? Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, it is. I'm switching to the hot tweezers, though. It was a clean lift until it fell. All right. Amy says that's not a coil, that's a filter. Nope. That's a coil. It's an inductor. Hey, there you go. I got another vote for Rehot CPU, bro. Yeah? So, I we had a phone this week, the students saw this one, that someone actually did Rehot the CPU, which is currently in the no-fix pile, and someone has no path to data. All right, I need some flux. This is 
the worst flux ever. That's not what your mom said last night. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Now, let's check if the short is still there. Will it beep? We can't really see it. Is that good? Yeah. Except it's flipped upside down now, right? No more short. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh, CPU got too much heat. So our line where we injected voltage is no longer short. But now we've got this line, which, oh no. 0 0.029. 0 0.029, that's, what are we going to do? That goes to the CPU. Throw it away, I guess. Let's look and see what what is that line called? I don't know. VDD Apollo AP. Mm, what does AP stand for, guys? CPU. Action potential. Oh wait, wrong class. <laughs> yeah, CPU. So what? All right, pause. So students, what do you guys know about CPU power lines? Do they? How did, what, what does that make you think of? We saw one where it was beeping on a phone and that's when we had to learn about diode mode because why? How does it kind of troll you, those CPU power lines? Partial hmm? They, uh, re remember the CPU power lines have a, what's the typical voltage on one? One of them was that oh, SOC one there. Hmm? One VA. It's less than that, like 0 0.9. Remember that one, 0 0.95. And then what kind of current was on that line? So it was this tiny little push that the current like was. 16 or something? It was like 1.8 or whatever, like huge current, right? So how is it possible for a tiny little push, a tiny little voltage to generate this great big high current? What does the line naturally have to be? has to have very low resistance, exactly. So now something that has low resistance, what does the multimeter think of this? Multimeter beeps when it asks the question, are you a, a liar? And if you touch it and it has very, very low resistance, what does the multimeter think? It thinks that it's a wire, and so it will be. And so that's how those things troll you. So when you see that, hey, this is a power rail for CPU, like this rail here, where it says VDD. Sounds like VCC, like power. His name is Apollo and AP CPU. That sounds like it could be a power rail for the CPU. So just because we hear the multimeter beep, does that mean that it's actually short? Or is it possible that we're getting trolled because it's a CPU power line? What do you think? We have to rule out that we're being trolled, right? Yeah. Right. And if we had schematics for Samsungs, I'm pretty sure we'd find that that line is supposed to carry one volt or less. Um, and we could compare that measurement to another known good board, since we don't have schematics, and see does it does it measure low on that too? But I, I'm guessing yes. Um, so now I just need to go back and see what my orientation was on that chip on the PMIC. So A1. We got a whole bunch of people in chat that are, taking, are, that are throwing this into the shit pile or taking off the CPU. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could, before doing that, you could send it to us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe we're, we might just. Yeah, we might. We, yeah, who knows? <laughs> I might rehot hot CPU. A little premature. All right. All right. So I'm going to get this guy in here. You're going to put that same chip on? No, this is a brand new one oh, I just pulled out right. of the strip. Okay. Oh, yeah, nobody gotcha. nobody saw that on the stream. No. It's a new chip. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, well, I'll just smush this back. I'm just going to push this right down on the top until I see solder <laughs> bolts, and that way I know it's really on there. All right. Let's get some flux under there. 
All right, so tell us what you're doing. What about, how come you're not concerned about the fact that that line was short? Um, because I don't believe it is short. I believe it's just a uh, high current, low voltage line, which naturally has a low resistance to ground. So you're just gonna say, go ahead and beep, because I noticed that you're a CPU power line, and from experience, CPU power lines are gonna have a low resistance to ground, they're gonna beep to ground, therefore, I don't think you're short at all, mm -hmm. and you think that you have removed the short that was in the PMIC. Well, I've definitely cleared the short on VBAT okay. that we saw was there. It, it is and no longer short. That? I missed that. Um, I did a diode mode reading, which I can do again, and you can tell me what it says. All right, so you're going to go back to the VBAT line, which is the VCC main equivalent. Yep. And diode mode is point. 315 and it used to be point 0.1 something. Yep, and from experience I know that it, it's a similar to iPhones about point 0.315, okay. point 0.32, point 0.325. So you had a V bat which is VCC main short within the PMIC that's now relieved because you took off that PMIC and threw it away. Right. So you're putting on a new PMIC and hoping that you don't grow back that short because you're completing some kind of circuit. Yep. Alrighty. Also hoping that I don't get the uh, CPU and memory too hot, which are underfilled on the other side of the board. Yeah. Don't fuck up, Mark, because there's 159 people on watch. Oh my god. Lot. It's kind of a big lecture hall, you know. If, you, if this was a this was a lecture hall, it would have to be one of the bigger lecture halls in the, yeah. in the college. All right, it's on there. Okay, so what do you guys think? Is there going to? Did he grow back his short? I don't know. By the way, everybody, somebody named Miguel is eating Mexican tacos. Just funny. <laughs> Keeping everyone on the up and up. Uh, so Rosemarie not... says it's going to work. Well, I'm I will glad. I'll point out that Rosemarie also said that um, to to take off the CPU. She said CPU gone. I'm glad that she has faith. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to do a diode mode reading on that line again. All right. Will it beep? Well, you can't see it. No, it's two, 219, 220 and climbing as the board cools. So. so the resistance is normally less when the board is hot, like he just did a chip change. Mm -hmm. So let's see that measurement though. We didn't really that. Oh, can, can, they can't see it on no, there. No, just like where you're putting your probes. Oh. So click over to. Okay, yeah. So what, we're up to 246, 247, 248. So I'm okay with that. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you think that Mark found a short and cleared the short and that it was in the PMIC? Yep. Yeah. All right, we'll see. So I'm going to solder my wire back to inject voltage at battery. Nivaldo recommends that you pray. <coughs> um, Okay. And then the two last comments. Nivaldo says, let it rest in peace, where Jody says, success. So take your pick. <laughs> it could go either way. way. Yes. So now, know. ooh, these things must have been touching there. Yeah, <laughs> They're toasty. Yes. All right. So now I'm going to put power back in. And all I really want to see right now is that it does not consume any current as soon as I connect. The guy in the white hoodie has died. Um, <laughs> to, to answer your question. We didn't have any food All right, today. we're not consuming we any current. We didn't have any food today because we didn't have fried chicken. We had sushi and and subs from Wegmans, and you know, apparently that's no In-N-Out burger. So I've got my power connected again, okay. and 
No longer consuming any current. So it's zero before prompt to boot. Yep, and now I'm going to prompt progress. to boot. Right, prompt to boot. Ooh, it looks like it's going up. I can't really see it's too far away. It just You'll have to just tell us what it is. It sat at 270 milliamps while I'm holding the power. Okay. And then when I let go, back to zero. So this goes in the pile that has that problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too bad. All right, so you solved a VCC main short. Mm hmm And so now, what's the typical case? You press the power button. And it would go like 200, 300, 400, 800, 1.5 amps, 1.8 amps, and then back down, and then back right. up, and back down. Um, when you press the power button. When you press the power button. Now, what's the thing with boot? Samsung's having, like, power button power button problems themselves like don't they get like wrong resistance on the power button uh that was like that, that was the s4 and s3 the the type of button they used just wore out quicker mm -hmm. than most other buttons mm -hmm. um but that's not really a problem anymore how does the power button work is it are you shorting something to ground or shorting or completing a circuit um in the s4 I think it was shorting to ground, but in the S6, it's completing a circuit. Alrighty. So, this is going to require much more what time and effort. What happens if you try to boot it from our... the dock? Uh, <clears throat> we can see. Alright, let's see. We'll give it a try. Man, the chat is fucking rude. I will absolutely not... Uh, uh, Are they talking trash? Yeah, exactly. The sons of bitches. That's right. All right, here's a thoughtful question from Aaron E. Could that one BGA, that charging chip thing, between the battery and our shorted VBAT have gotten damaged? Maybe something like current sensing. That is a great <laughs> suggestion, and that is one of the things that I would Cone thinks it's drawing too to much do. current and turns off. Possibly. Will it boot without that dude? Uh, I don't believe it will. Damn it. <clears throat> because then ba battery power has no way to get into main. Mm. Do you have another one of those dudes? Uh, I've got them on order. <laughs> so, alrighty. Yeah. So I can't try that right now. All right. Um, Can you let it try to boot from USB? I yes. Think that's a good idea. Do we have USB? Yes. I'm gonna guess that the answer. Somebody is stole no. it. Have you guys ever watched a live stream? No. No. <laughs> All right. Um, you actually you can't prompt to boot through USB. You can't. <clears throat> no. When you plug it in, it'll show you that it's charging. Like Samsung shows you like the percentage oh. and the battery filling up. It won't boot up. No, it won't boot up. All right. So it is pulling 0 0.08, and then it hit 30. 370 for a second and then went down to zero so change that charging thing. I think the suggestion that that charging chip could be the cause is a very good suggestion Do and it. something I plan to investigate once the chips arrive we can have another stream all right we can fine. stream with next week's class and wrap this up Ooh, that's a good idea all right fine. you have a very quiet class Jessup the they, class they are is silent on the ride here in the right really? back. Yeah, they are. That's because they're fucking dead. So how's, <laughs> how's the class been? Awesome. That was great. We love every second of it. Get us the fuck home. They're, they're, we're it. holding them hostage because they are dependent on us to drive them back to the hotel. They have been here since this morning, and everybody 
completed a micro VGA repair, yes, successfully today. Yeah, a lot of people completed a couple of them. Yeah, a couple of them did, yeah. Dave on fixed his uh, six plus that he bought, so now he's retired, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys are going to be fixing uh, stuff tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll do our reballing. We might do some NAND job. Uh, maybe see a long screw, um, but uh, it's mostly going to be fixing stuff. You know what? Yeah. I think the chip, the reballing example I have is that same chip, but from a Note Five. Great. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so yeah, these guys are tired. Plus, yes, yesterday. <coughs> which day is the worst of the course? Yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yesterday. Sex toy mini day. Everybody that has already <laughs> been to the class that has had to solve the sex toy mini. These guys had to, to go through that yesterday, but you guys solved it. After that, though, I think that's always kind of a oof. <laughs> Everybody's brain is fried. All right, so we are going to um, get these guys home. Let's just read chat real quick and see if we need to answer anything. Um, let's see. Does your DC power supply say 0. 0.4 volts? No, it should no, it say 4.0. 4. Yes. All right. Bunch of what up for Chris Long. We were just talking about you, Chris Long. <laughs> Weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we were. We are just talking about you. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, Chris Long's buying the S6 UFS reader. Just send it here. I'll cut you a good YouTuber deal. Uh where can I buy that chip? I, don't you buy them just all from China? Yeah, China. All right. Past, past message from two students. Okay, we'll let them do that themselves. Let's see. Um, micro cam stream. I want to see what Anna Pussy said. <laughs> Something offensive. Let's see. Uh, Anna Pussy got banned. <laughs> <laughs> you deleted message. Shit, I didn't mean to click all that. Um, I see they messed up the G4 Fire. delivery. Where? Oh, that's okay. G4 delivery. Hopefully you got my iPad and G4. Um, that will be up to the intake department. Sending a 6S and a Kindle Fire. A Kindle God, Fire? No. For God, us no. to Kindle a Fire? Right. <laughs> okay. And day today. All right. Is it possible to measure if a CPU is burned? You can there, see if there the are ways to rule out everything like else. Right. And, but yeah. I hope bad words were said about me. Nope. Nope. All right. Okay. So what? All right. I think we're. I think we're done. So you can hit stop streaming, and we will catch right. up with this. We'll come back to this repair. We, of course, again next week, and if we um, still have to drive to the microtel, then we'll hold, hold those guys hostage as well so that we can finish up. And next up for this one would be to replace that chip in the middle, but Mark definitely made progress solving uh, VCC main, a.k.a. VBAT short in the Samsung so uh, hopefully you can knock out whatever else is wrong with it. And Ho get that hopefully thing China gets, <laughs> gets them here in the 12 days and not the 60. That's right. <laughs> yes. Go China. All right. All right. So we'll see you next here. time.